and no prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. That's the sound of the police! Alright, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with the Cyanide and Happiness world, universe, lore, etc, etc. I'm kind of familiar. I'm not 100% all up in there. I would say I probably just have to tip it, but I know enough. So now that we have the full product here, I definitely want to check it out. Plus, you know, it's an adventure game. I'm kind of a sucker for those. So if you guys do enjoy what you see here today, would like to see a bit more going forward, you know what to do. For now, let's check it out. <laughs> yes! Destroy everything educational! Uh, I uh, can't remember uh, what AP Bio uh, means. Soon, everything educational will be destroyed thanks to Dr. Dropout! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Dr. Dropout! There'll be no brain drains on my watch! <laughs> Your nerd powers won't work on me, Psionic Steve! I removed my brain long ago! I won't be the only brainless moron in this school once I dip everyone in my patented stupid goop! <laughs> But I can't do it when I'm dressed as a mild-mannered everyday coop. This looks like a job for Super Coop. Super Coop, my favorite protege. You are here to save us all. Per usual, ha ha! I am speaking to you using my telepathic powers. Psionic Steve, my very close personal friend. I can hear you using my telepathic powers. Listen, Coop, you must stop Dr. Dropout's many droogs from destroying education. But first, you need to use your super walking powers to reach them. I will walk you through the steps of this walking walkthrough with you. Walk this way. Slightly to the left. Hurry, Super Coop! Okay. The voice seems to go a bit faster than the actual dialogue in the screen, which is a little bit weird. Uh, tutorial time. Oh, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see me read all this, right? Okay, let me check this out and I'll jump back in. Two hours later. Alright, so let's, uh, check this out. Revolutionary, but check it out. By God, you I moved. Did it. Oh, Dr. yeah, I did. Dropout will be done for before the day is done. All in a day's work. This will be a walk in the park. Ha 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 Rightly so, my clever comedic companion. Now, onward to the gymnasium. I'm already loving the voice acting. It's just so over the top and cheesy. Like, it just has to be, you know what I'm saying? It just has to be. Not so fast, Super Coop. One of Dr. Dropout's deadly droogs delays your destiny. If only there was a way to disable and dispose of that dastardly dum dum. Direct your attention in his direction. Got him in my sight, Psionic Steve. Please call me Steve on account of how close we are as friends. Sea Dog. Egad! He's beating the education out of that fellow student! If only there was a way to stop him! Perhaps a precarious punishment is perched in proximity to that perverse pillager. That would be super convenient! Please, peruse! Perceptively peruse! I like how we're just hanging out here having a conversation as this man is, um, beating the hell out of this child with a gun, kicking him, pistol whipping him around, with a shotgun no less too. So it seems that behind you there's a little bit of a highlight, so I think that's where we gotta go, huh? Nothing gets by me. Oh, what is that, peanuts? Oh my god, he's deadly allergic to peanuts, I think. never cease to amaze. Big ups to you, bud. But wait, look to the left. <laughs> I think those are peanuts. If so, we just killed this man from using his allergies against him. Our very first body, that didn't take too long. A locker full of peanuts. Fortune favors the bold. Just a random locker in school full of peanuts. What about it? Is that weird to you? It's not weird. Lucky for me, that locker was filled with peanuts. Unlucky for him, he had a fatal allergic reaction to them. Fatal? He is dead. <laughs> I'll take the gun. I don't need guns when I have powers of the mind. I would probably grab the gun, but okay, fine. We don't need the gun. You're lost, buddy. Ain't no smart 
bloody brains getting in here, or they'll get their smart brains blown out. Yeah, dumb people only. Yeah, especially me, because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, but I'm stupider. That's why the boss likes me best. Okay, that's fair. Ooh, I love the horses at the fair. Oh, yeah, and the cotton candies. <laughs> There stands a deadly duo whose arms are armed with deadly bullet dispensing danger. If only there was a way to disarm the armaments from their arms. Quickly, think. Time is of the essence. Coop, I just remembered your super lit backpack. All the guys covet, and all the girls love it. I think it is neat how you keep all the items you collect in it, like an inventory of sorts. So organized, so cool. Hey, thanks, Steve. It's my favorite. I wonder how you could possibly trap those terrible transgressors. Say, what do you keep in such a super cool backpack anyway? I have always wondered. Are you trying to teach me about the inventory tutorial game? I just call it a hunch. I like how apparently all the, the dudes from Dr. Dropout's gang, none of them have brains too. All right, dum-dums, here you go. Maybe we could use it under guns. Oh, we tossed it. Hey, yeah! Gun off my gun. Uh oh, our guns are in love. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> no, you! Wondrous work, Super Coop. You confounded those criminals with a culturally appropriate Confucian contraption of ancient Chinese confusion. Congrats! Now, to successfully open the gymnasium door and <laughs> walk through it, you are so close. Super Goop! We're saved! Soup Scoop. Well, 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 if it isn't Super Coop, which I'm pretty sure it is! S isn't it? You bet your brainless belfry, Dr. Dropout! Well, you'll lose that bet because I don't even know what a belfry is! And soon, neither will you! Once I've destroyed every book, every brain, and every school, you will be just another drooling dummy on this big flat earth. Just like me. The only thing flat on this earth will be your face once I'm done with you. Better get a move on. Your friends will be stupefied by then. Allow me to demonstrate. Coop, help me, man. Sorry for all the bullying, but you gotta, you gotta help me out. My favorite color is applesauce. Oh no! This is just the beginning, but enough talk! Have at you! You fools! Get him! Get him! Now's your chance, Super Coop! <laughs> Eat shit, Super Coop! You're too late! Hmm. Cannot break! Free! We will be doomed to dumbness in no time! Quickly, Coop! Drop some knowledge on Dr. Dropout! Knowledge is power! The less I know, the more powerful I become! Soon I'll be the most stupidest, most powerful being in the universe! Yeah, I suppose when you got dumb goons, they probably forget how to use their weapons. Look at this guy over here, just staring down the barrel of the shotgun. What's the worst that could possibly happen if I aim the shotgun on my face? Maybe I'll just look down the cylinder. What was the worst? So I'm noticing, um, brightness here. Is that what we're looking for? Drops of knowledge? Is that a diploma of some kind? A diploma! Yes, Dr. it is. Dropout's only weakness? Education! Alright, let's go ahead and drop this knowledge quite literally on Dr. Dropout here. It's sitting too high atop this flaming pile of knowledge. Nothing my super coop powers couldn't handle. That's true. Let's use the old brainwaves here. Brilliant! You were not gobsmacked by his gobbledygook! Now get this goofy goon to graduation! Enjoy your student debt, Dr. Dropout! Ha <laughs> ha! All the alliteration with, um, psionic Steve. Huh? What's this? Congratulations, Dr. Dropout! You're now a high school graduate! And you're the valedictorian! Way to go! What? Now that's sticking it to him! No! This can't be possible! I don't want to be smart! A transformation of this magnitude to my cerebellum is only possible through- Oh my god! Wow, Bashu looks smart. 
But boss said we're supposed to destroy everything smart. Yeah, you're right. Let's get him. No! No, you dullards. Get them, not me. Cease your incessant locomotion. Stop! You saved us, Super Coop. Will you go to prom with me? You saved us all, Super Coop. Way to put your mind to it. Now you are my hero. Cooper? Is that you? Mom? Dad? I, I thought you were dead. Yes, Coop. We are dead. And we're so proud of you. Coop, 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 You mean that was just a child's imagination? Get out of here. Mr. McCarthy! Huh? What? Y yes, Mr. Murphy. Were you paying attention? Uh... What did I just say? Um, something about obtuse angles? Uh, right? Wrong! Everyone, point and laugh! <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 look what we have here. Uh, wait, give that back. What was that? Couldn't hear you, Cooper. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Do us a favor and try not to waste all of our time. You suck, Coop. Let's shove him into a locker, and then shove that locker up his ass! Now, now, nobody chastise Coop until I've had a chance to chastise him first. What I was saying, if you'll be so kind as to join us, is the word of the day is exposition. As you all know, graduation is just around the corner, so today you'll all be filling out your career aptitude tests. These tests will help determine what careers you might excel at, if any. I did this test when I was in school, and look where it got me. <laughs> Ginger, true or false, fill in the dots, yada yada. Just fill these out so we can all go home. Think you can handle that coop? Or is the fate of your future too boring? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Pussy. Solid burn, Jet. Uh, Mr. Murphy? Will this affect any of our college applications? Maybe, maybe not. If you just fill it out honestly, you really won't have to worry about it. Now, will you, Sawyer? Uh, come on. I already filled this out last year. I don't really have to do it again, do I? Yes, Kent, you do need to fill this out again. You think just because you were held back a grade that you get special privileges? Well, yeah. Hmm, you're right. You don't need to waste your time filling this out again. Just sit there and be handsome. And take off that crown. Thank you. All right, class. You know the drill. No talking, no cheating, no questions. Heads down. Just fill out the damn form and hand it in when you're done. Jesus Christ, Summer can't get here fast enough. Successful people always establish clear goals. True. Sure. You try to help people with situations even when it's not requested. True. Ah, uh, you know, sometimes. You have a date to the prom. False. You have friends who aren't imaginary. False. BDSM is about communication and trust. It's quite the question to be here on a aptitude test in high school, huh? Reminds me of the Discord. Uh, you look at you look at talk to and touch everything. Adventure game 101. Video games rot your brain. Absolutely true. Look at me. You still have parents? False. <laughs> they're, they're dead. Pillows are for muffling cries. Uh, true. Oh, I don't get to fill it in. That's just for us to go over. Oh, it's a shame. Hmm. Coop will make it to graduation alive? That's a false right there. <laughs> You're not even taking the test, Ken. Uh, eat a dick, Kent. I'll eat your dick, you gulch muncher. What have what? I told you about standing up for yourself, Poop Coop? That you'll color my eyeballs in with markers? Uh, again? That's right, Taint Tickler. Don't think for a second that you're safe just because school is almost over. What's all this ruckus? I said heads down! We're trying to concentrate on our aptitude test, and Coop won't stop hitting on us. Yeah, Coop, I told you. I'm not emotionally available to get into a physical relationship right now. Quit pressuring me, nut stump. No means no, Coop. Now quit being a creepy sex pest and finish your test! But... Yeah, and I totally saw Coop trying to copy off Chet's test, too. What? But he's the one cheating! For the last time, Coop, I don't care if Kent is cheating on you. He's a beautiful free bird that no one can chain down. Just look into those deep, gorgeous eyes of his. Now get your test done or else. Final warning! I'm going to use the five-point palm exploding heart technique on your tiny balls if you don't stop copying off me! 
That is it, Mr. Cooper! Since you can't seem to let these precious students focus on their task without cheating or pressuring them into premarital intercourse, get your lecherous behind to the principal's office now! <laughs> but... Right now, mister! Uh. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> this teacher is the worst. And what is it with Shed and, like, wanting to mess around with my genitalia area? <sighs> Time to head to the principal's office. Down the hallway to the Red Door of Doom. Okay. Book fair today. Now, before we jump over there, can we grab some items for our adventure? I'll leave the wedgies to the professionals. Well, it is a wedge. Not the proper wedgie, but a wedge indeed. Anything in my locker? Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. I could pop it open if I had a pencil. A pencil? Come on in, Coop. Have a seat. We both know why you're here. Wait, why are you here? I'm in trouble? I was bullied. You're darn right you're in trouble. I heard you were cheating on a test while sexually pressuring other students, including our beloved Kent. That's not true. Kent set me up. Oh, sir, I've heard it all before. Hmm, let's see. Oh, there's so many things wrong with you. Where to begin? It's lecture time, Coop. Do you want to hear the long version or the short version? Um... Ah, oh, well, you know. I'm pretty sure we want to be entertained, so give me the long version. Go have at it. Uh, the long version, I guess? Tell me, Coop. What are your goals? How do you plan to score them? What would make you win the big game called life? Uh, I guess I've always wanted to help people. Help people with their troubles and problems. You know, kind of like a superhero. Like Psionic Steve. And how's that working out for you? Uh, well, most people I try to help really wish I didn't. Doesn't sound like any superhero I've heard of. What kind of hero cheats on tests? What kind of champion gets his head shoved into a urinal every day? And no prom date? Pathetic! Even I have a prom date, and I'm not even allowed to. You know, anyone who's what? anyone has a prom date. People keep saying that. Keep it up and it's no hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter for Coop. And no prom. You'll be warming the bench, hitting the showers. Three strikes means you struck out. Game over, Coop. Game over. Dear God, this is worse than I thought. This permanent record here, this is a loser's permanent record. Losers stay losers permanently. Only a loser would have this many strikes on his record. And losers don't get to go on the hashtag epic field trip to the local bomb shelter. Here I go, clicking my pen. The pen I'm using to mark this down on your permanent record to make you a permanent loser. Permanently. With permanent ink. Please don't. I it won't happen again. I I'm sorry I've been acting up lately. I guess I have been feeling pretty directionless. I don't really have much of a positive role model in my life. I mean, there's Psionic Steve, but he's, uh, he's not exactly real. I really could use someone real to talk to, you know? I, I guess I... What's this? A distracting phone call? Hello? Don't you know I'm in the middle of leaving a red mark on a kid's future? Permanently? What's that? <gasps> Stacy broke her pelvis during the splits! That means there's an opening on the cheer squad! My time to shine! I'll be right there! Go Narwhals! I'll deal with your permanent record later. I have to go do something that's far more important than fixing your life. Now sit here and think of every word I've said, and don't look at, touch, or talk to a single thing. Nope. Unfocused fuck-up, being a little bitch. Possibly a narc, do not vouch. Tries to help everyone, don't let him help. Aquatic life, being bullied. Recommendation, exile, permanently banned from field trips. Faculty, tired of looking at him. So we send him home for two weeks. <laughs> just one day. You know what, Cooper? I'm just tired of looking at you. Go home. Two weeks. Well, I see some whiteout over there, so I think that's going to be a good start, right? Score! Free office supplies! Yeah! Tries to help everyone. Aquatic life. Like a ninja! Okay, now I better go fetch the permission slip for the hashtag epic field trip to the bomb shelter from my locker. If I can get it signed, I can go on the trip, get closer to Sawyer, and finally be safe from bullies. And bombs. That's true. 
Uh, we need a pencil for the lockers, what they told us, right? So, let's see. Nah, we find better one. to leave it shut. Well, I mean, we gotta look for a pencil, my dude. I haven't graduated yet, but I can still dream. So we could change our... Yeah. All right. We are gonna be graduating. There's a lot of things to find, apparently. 29 different outfits. How many hats or Different sets of hair, more than likely nine, huh? Okay. Halt! Stop right there, criminal! Well, what's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's simple enough. You've just gotta grab a holly pass. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though. So don't get your hopes up, buster! Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nuh-uh. Yes, ha, huh, times a million. Damn, she has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Ugh, Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly breathing down my neck. Hmm. So even before we get to our locker with the pencil, we now need a hall pass to get through it. Um, she reminds me a lot of this Holly pass, this Holly girl. Reminds me a lot of Annie from Summertime Saga. And, uh, we have, apparently, Chet over there just smooching it up with the... Probably cheerleader, more than likely. Which makes you wonder if Chet's really up to something, just because he seems so obsessed with her genitalia still, you know? Might be putting up a front, what can you say? Hey, buddy, can you help me out? What you up to? No, he's huffing markers, that of course. That explains it. <laughs> Are you huffing one of those scented markers? Will you, uh, go to the prom with me? Have you ever used a marker for its intended purpose? Hmm. I wonder if we could use this marker for something in general. Are you huffing one of those scented markers? <laughs> God, please stop. You mean that weak strawberry scented kindergarten shit? <laughs> I only do the high grade black market industrial strawberry scented shit. You know, the hard stuff. <sighs> it's all used up. I'm starting to get a feeling back in my face again. Uh, that can't be good. You'll never get those brain cells back. Brain cells? Who needs them? What I do need is something stronger fucking school ban the super strong stuff and you can only buy them on the black market now well at least it's a cheap addiction so where exactly in the school would one score the good sniff markers in the school yeah right those golden days have long since passed industrial grade markers got hardcore banned why were they banned uh, an anonymous student got busted snorting 32 of them in the air ducts during the Narwhals game, and it totally wasn't his fault that he huffboxed everyone in the gym below, or that the basketball team got highlighter lung and lost the championship. Right. So where can I, uh, score some? I heard there's a black marker dealer outside the school, but I can't feel my legs due to a completely unrelated fall from some duct work, so I can't try to track him down. Okay, I'll see if I can sniff out the goods somewhere outside. Smell you later. All right, well, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for this one because we've gone long enough. This is everything I expected it to be and more, somehow. And that's uh, perfectly fine by me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some more, you know what to do. Otherwise, all the information for this will be down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. I will catch you next time.